I'm Franklin, and this is a look at the month of September for cancer. Your best days in September will be the 8th, the 9th, and the 10th. This is when the moon will be in cancer, and this is when you are at high tide. When the moon sign, or your ruling planet, the moon, passes through cancer, we all feel the cancer trait of using our emotional side to communicate with our own feelings and open the path to communicating with our spirit guides. Now here's a look at September 4, the water sign Cancer, and we'll begin with Cancer in Love. In week number one, and this week is influenced by Mars, Venus, and Mercury. So it will take communication between partners to let them know how important they really are to each other. In week number two, this week influenced by the moon, the sun, and Mercury. So it means communications will be of the utmost importance, even if it's just checking up on someone and finding out uh, where they are. In week number three, this week influenced by Venus, Mars, Pluto, and Jupiter. So the end of a relationship is good fortune that works out for everyone. In week number four, this week influenced by Saturn, Uranus, Jupiter, and Neptune. So look for fate to step in, to lift your dreams, lift your expectations to a whole new level. Now here's a look at September in your career. In the first week of the month, this is not the time to contradict authority or play the rebel card with a boss who likes to be in charge. In week number two, something you thought was private has been overheard and repeated, and the quicker you rectify this, the better. In week number three, good fortune comes disguised as more work. So accept this as the universe doing for you what you couldn't get done for yourself. And in week number four, you will walk away from a near miss and express your thankfulness and show your gratitude. Now here's a look at September in your finances. The first week of the month is going to give you a chance to use your psychic ability. Your psychic early warning system puts you first in line to accept the new ideas that are falling like rain. And in week number two, keeping someone secret gives you a new identity with them because of this new trust that they have in you. And in week number three, each person, thing, or place that you visit must be released back into the world because you can't take it with you. And in week number four, be aware of your dreams, fantasies, and visions of the future and allow them to reveal the many paths that are open for you. So that's a look at your days in September, according to your sun sign. Now, here's a look at your nights in September, according to the moon sign. In week number one, and this is the week of the full moon, this moon rises in Pisces, so the dreams and the visions that come this week are about your fondest desires and what you wish for. In week number two, the week of the last quarter of the moon, this moon will be rising in Gemini. So the dreams, the daydreams that come now are about combining forces with someone to increase the chances for your success. And in week number three, the week of the new moon, this moon will rise in Virgo and quickly change into Scorpio. So the dreams and the visions that come this week will foreshadow a coming birth or some other kind of addition to your circle. And then in week number four, uh, the week of the first quarter of the moon, this moon rises in Sagittarius. The dreams and the daydreams that come now will show you that more is not always better. You can get too much of even a good thing. And that's a look at September for the water sign Cancer.
If you like what you see here, please hit the subscribe button.